Yeah, here at one of the lay points, I forget what it was called, but uh, get ready to get a bus pull right behind us. Get ready to come out and get out of here, and I think I've been pressing the wrong button, and I probably got a video on there for probably 20 hours long now. Stop. Yeah, I've been pressing the wrong Okay, back on the road after one the latest waypoint. Through uh, the petrified forest and uh, painted desert. Interesting drive, 28 miles long. Last mile marker I've seen, we were only four miles into it. There's a down in the valley, when I get out of some of the waypoints, there's a dirt road going through there. I'd really love to be able to drive that road, but I seriously doubt they'll let you. So we're just uh, we're gonna skip that waypoint there as it was very close to the one we just left and let this guy go. Wouldn't wouldn't be much uh to see there. We're gonna let this guy go right ahead of us and uh we've got one behind us. Might as well go ahead. trying to do this video and been hitting the wrong button rather than having one video I'm, I am I'm now starting my fourth one but I've learned now to press the right button so hopefully it'll string out into one video now uh, we're coming up on another waypoint we'll pull in there and see what it's about and it's called uh, nice. Lacey Point I'll be taking some still pictures in there which I'll also post later to uh, Facebook and YouTube. All right, here we are again. Back on the road through the park. We're coming up on a bridge which crosses over I-40, Interstate 40, through Arizona, which is the highway we used to get in here with. The entrance is right off the highway. I mean, right off the highway. I just hit a mile marker for five of the 26 miles through the park. There's a waypoint coming up. Don't know exactly what it's about. We're going to stop there and see what's going on. All right, that last waypoint was, I found it thoroughly interesting. Uh, again, you can't check it out on the video. But if you look at the uh, still photos I'll be posting, it was a uh, Showed the place where old historic Route 66 used to come across the painted forest and petrified forest. I'm sorry, painted desert, petrified forest. Up until 1958, that's the only way millions of people had to travel through these parts. Then in 1958, the uh, Interstate 40 came through and uh, parts of Route 66, which still runs all the way across the United States, but it parallels, runs along with Interstate 40 through a large part of the country now. But uh, it's interesting, there was, a 19, there was the hall of a 1938 Studebaker there, uh, totally cut it on the inside except for the steering wheel, and of course it had no wheels on it. It was all rusted out, no windows. But uh, as you can imagine, Traveling across America in a 1938 Studebaker. Interesting, but anyway, like I said, we're back on the road. Not a lot to see through this part of the uh, park. We're traveling along at about 35 miles an hour. The actual speed limit is 45. But uh, looking for the next waypoint.
can see some type of cliff formation up off in the distance. I don't know if there's a pull out for that, which would explain it geographically a little bit more detail. But also see the road way up ahead just winding off up over the top of the horizon. I don't know if I mentioned in any part of the videos, but there's a dirt road run through the valley. That would be really be the road to travel. I'm sure they won't let you get on it. Not for tourists. See a train, you probably can't see it on the video, but there's a train running through the valley right now and to my right. See that rock formation I was talking about a little bit better now. You can probably even see the train zipping on across the valley. Hey, look at there to the left, a couple trees. You don't see many trees out here. Santa Fe, Santa Fe Railroad is what that was going across through there. Yeah, I see some cars parked up ahead. There's a way station coming up ahead. We'll, we'll be stopping there to check that out. There's more dirt road off to the right. I see you got to pull off for it, but I'm sure they don't want you down there. It says authorized vehicle anyway. So. Even it drops to 35 here, which is what we were doing anyway. So, some river down below, sir. Ain't no water in it. <laughs> There's a few puddles here and there. I can't pronounce this, so I'm not going to try. We're going to stop this way station here. Now back on the road again. Doris has been driving, I'm driving now. We stopped at the last way station, had a bit of a scare when we went to leave. For the first time ever, the truck wouldn't start. It was just, uh, it was crank. Wouldn't start, like it wasn't getting no gas or something. We sat there for 10, 15 minutes, tried it again. Started right up. Not sure what the problem was. It'll have me a little bit concerned now until I shut it off again. See how she restarts. But, uh, for now I'll be shutting it off again while I'm in the park. At least um, somewhere closer to somewhere to get some type of assistance. It costs an arm and a leg to get assistance out here, I'm sure. Here, uh, newspaper, newspaper rock. <laughs> All right, well, we'll check it out, see what it's like. Do a quick stop here and check and see what it's like. Leave the engine run for a couple minutes here while we're here. I think I'll be here that long. Enough for me to run down there and take a few pics. See what happens.